Imagine your Zesa meter sending you a notification telling you your units are low and it's time to top up. <music> channel this is sandra on beyond tech Salutely, a place for understanding tech and creating exciting narratives around it if this is your first time here welcome welcome and good news you haven't missed much because this is our very very first video today we're going to be talking about imagining your zesa prepaid meter being a smart meter. This stands for Zimbabwe Electricity Supply Authority. It's a state-owned company that generates, transmit, and distribute electricity around Zimbabwe. They phased out the postpaid bill payment and introduced the Zesa prepaid meters. The prepaid metering was introduced to eradicate issues that were arising with the bill payment processes, the problems coming from uh, defaulting customers who were not able to pay their bills on time. Prepaid meter is able to count the flow of electricity used in kilowatt hour and the meter balance decreases as you use the electricity. Customers can use their meter inside their house to top up and check their available balances. Almost every household and premise are on Zesa prepaid has this meter they cost, uh, I think, from 100 to 150 depending on the type and also the reseller. So this meter has the customer interface that will be inside as well as the control that will be outside. The customer interface is used to check balance, top up, as well as to notify the user in case there is... Um, the units are running low so there are different types of meters in the market but they basically perform the same functions some have uh, light indicators when it's green it shows that you have a sufficient balance and then when it turns red it means you're running low some even flash and have a beeping sound when you are uh, when your, your your balance is actually decreasing when you need to top up your Zesa prepaid units, you can purchase your token by just entering your meter number, the amount that you'd want. And then uh, there are so many resellers in the market. Really. You can purchase your Zesa tokens from various resellers and even other available payment gateways, your banking uh, platforms, your mobile wallets, they are available. So this token is then transformed to kilowatt per hour and uh, is then increased to your balance on your prepaid uh, Zesa units. The meter has a relay switch that automatically switches off if your balance gets to zero and it automatically switches on the power into your house if the balance increases after a top up. This all seems fine, right? Yeah, there's no hassle of waiting for your bill in the mail. So you can as well purchase your token when you need. But there's definitely room for improvement. I mean, by adding a little bit of technology into this process. Imagine you travel or you are not in the house and your electricity runs out. And there's no way to be notified because you have to be physically in the house to know that you're running out of electricity units or you don't know which gadget actually chows your electricity all you just see is your electricity unit 
balance depleting very fast or it's often something like that hi hi should you say bobo how are you i'm all right sure so nice to have you know that trial two three times so nice to from that side okay send me your meter number let me try but today is the first car don't get it down the system Alright, let me try in a camera we can know shan sao tenga markets and talk we sit up token number issues just now. Once you run out of units, the power is cut. And in some residential areas, I know at my house, for instance, you have to physically disconnect the meter from your house, go to your neighbor, plug it in, top up from there so that power is restored <laughs> in your house. Topping up your Zessa prepaid shouldn't be something that is uh like a task where you have to key in a 20 digit token probably if you already quoted your meter number and the amount it's just supposed to top up directly so i would love to hear from you if the ones i've talked about are the challenges that you're faced with your current prepaid meters and any other challenges that you're faced i would love to hear about them kindly comment below a rollout of Zessa smart meters can actually solve all these problems and more smart meters are a huge step forward imagine your meter notifying you telling you you need to talk probably that notification would have links to different payment methods that are online so you can actually click on the link make your payment and it automatically uh tops up your token you don't need to go and key in onto your meter like the the ones that we have right uh, you you don't have money so you want to borrow some units so you can actually borrow units from that the smart meter smart meters can be anything it can actually have a split function so for people who share houses or tenants you can actually have uh, a way of registering your your gadgets and then it can record like if you are in unit a or unit b you use these uh gadgets and you use this amount of uh zessa units a month then you can actually pay the exact units that you use throughout the month it can also give you real-time stats on your energy usage also smart enough to turn on and off gadgets during set time so probably you want your geezer to be on from 4 a.m to 6 a.m and then the rest of the day it's switched off it can automatically do that of course there are known risks this include uh in case hackers hack onto your smart meter they can be able to know what kind of gadgets you have registered and if a hacker knows the kind of gadget gives it to the thief then the thief might know they're coming in to steal your smart tv so yeah that can be an issue and also security issues you know if there's a place where the smart meters are controlled someone can actually study the trends on your electricity usage and be able to map out the times when you are not in the house and when you are in the house this information can be used by i don't know thieves robbers to come and rob you when you're not in the house it's not really an issue considering that zessa is the only uh, electricity supplier in zimbabwe so i'm sure they can make ways on securing this information there are going to be other issues arising basing on split meters and all but they can be solved by having sub accounts currently zessa has a online portal where you can check your balances you can also purchase units as well as uh you know the basic functions on your prepaid meter and also it has actually opened up different apis to resellers to be able to sell tokens on their platform the smart meters can be something that we can add on to what they currently have i haven't seen the smart meters in the market yet 
but if there is a company that is working on them or producing these uh, in terms of electricity, kindly comment down below. And also, I'd want to know from you that would you prefer the current analog prepaid meter or you would prefer the smart meter that I just uh, spoke about? I would definitely go for the smart meter. Those watching this and have used smart meters, we want to hear your thoughts. Do you think uh, we should use smart meters for electricity or what are your thoughts? Thank you for joining me. Our videos are out every Friday. Till next time.